What's up guys, Bob Oscar here at Think Computers and today we're checking out what might possibly be the biggest CPU cooler we've ever tested. It is the Sith Ninja 5, which you can see right here. So let's go ahead and take a look. The Sith Ninja 5 is probably the largest air cooler we've ever seen. It is just huge and it weighs in at 1190 grams. This is a hefty cooler. The way the cooler looks, you might think it's just one large heatsink, but it's designed more like four towers that sort of meet in the middle and you can kind of see that design from the top view. Each of these towers feature three heat pipes which come up from the base of the cooler. These heat pipes are six millimeters thick and are made of nickel plated copper. The base of the cooler is also nickel plated copper and has a very nice finish to it. For those wondering, this cooler supports all major sockets from both Intel and AMD. The only socket that it really doesn't support is TR4. You are going to get two of Sith's K's Flex 120 PWM fans. These are 120 millimeter fans that spin between 300 and 800 RPM. They also have rubberized corners which will cut down on vibration. With such a large cooler, you would think the installation would be hard, but it's actually one of the easiest AM4 installations we've done. While we installed it on a test bench, we could easily see you installing this in a case no problem. As I mentioned, this is a very large CPU cooler, so the front fan of the cooler will more than likely sit on top of your memory, which if you have RGB memory, sort of defeats the whole purpose of getting RGB memory. Now it is time for testing. So our Ryzen CPU cooler test bench is made up of the following hardware. Our first test, which is the idle test, is taken at the Windows 10 desktop after one hour. Next up is our load test. We run the ADA64 system stability test with CPU only checked. This puts a full load on our CPU. We run this test for one hour and record the highest temperature throughout the test. So as you can see, the Sith Ninja 5 is the best performing cooler in our test group. While our test group is not a whole lot of coolers, we'll be expanding it in the future but you can see it performs really well and it beats out all of the coolers by a considerable margin. Given its size, we kind of did expect that. Now, there are some things you're gonna wanna consider if you know, you're thinking about picking this cooler up. The first and the most important is, do you really need a cooler of this size and this cooling power? If you're not doing any overclocking, you're running your system stock and maybe you're not even doing any gaming, you might not need something this powerful. There's a ton of great aftermarket coolers available that are far less uh, expensive than this and take up a lot of less space. Um, talking about the space, another thing that's kind of disappointing about this cooler given its size is that it covers all of our memory slots here. So all four slots are completely covered by the fan. And as you can see, we have RGB memory installed, but it is completely covered. So all those cool RGB effects we wanna show off we really can't when this cooler is installed. So that's something that you're definitely gonna want to consider. Now we'll have our full written review, which is linked below, that goes over all of that and you know the cooler in even more detail. So you can check that out. And we'll also have uh, a link below where you can go ahead and pick this cooler up. And one thing talking about the price of the cooler is that I really like that Sith kept the price down. We've seen large air coolers like this go from you know 80 to 90 dollars. Sith has this price at $59.99, which isn't all that expensive considering the performance that you're going to get. So that brings it to an end here. Awesome, big cooler. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Till next time, catch you guys later.